fighting Jordan Alexander as uh, as Denki. Uh, Chad asked, and so obviously we have to uh, we have to provide. Uh, <laughs> I, I said I know we've got one Nezu in the event today. I said Tam, look him up for me. I found him at table twelve. I'm all in. We've, we've got we've got to see this Niz. We got to see this spice. Yeah, he's uh, I mean they're 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 running they're running hot. Um, and we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, build four from uh, Denki, which is fantastic. And mm -hmm. now let's uh, let's see how uh, Nezu gets to rebuttal. Yeah, once again, we're looking at Denki on the air symbol. As much love as Chaos got in this newest set, Heroes Clash, I think air just still has some of the strongest application cards for him. And I think that you just can't pass down specialized sound waves in a character that cheats momentum like the best of them. Uh, Nezu, on the other hand, though, definitely going the Chaos route and instantly putting some really, really interesting pieces of kit on his board. Uh, Petty Squabble coming in and very very cool here letting us dig for more cards shadows aid and a uh, very very rarely seen uh card from heroes clash letting us pick cards up out of our momentum uh, very very cool in chaos for sure letting us reuse things like our electric jolts and whatnot uh i'm certainly seeing the applications there i think we're gonna see a lot of very interesting things across nezu's deck there uh, i have to imagine we're gonna see a ton of one ofs uh for those of you who aren't familiar uh, Nezu is a very, very cool character that allows you to discard a card from your hand and grab one of equal difficulty from your discard pile, making him the ultimate toolbox deck, uh, an absolute dream for deck builders far and wide. And I have no doubt that the second someone finds, uh, I've been saying the second someone finds out the, 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 the cheat code, once they crack the code and find out the, the busted Nezu list, this character is going to make some crazy waves. So I'm very excited to see if Mike has found such a list. Yeah, it gives me kind of big uh, 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 end of set uh, two Momo energy, right? Yes. Uh, we uh, Momo had had like middling success for her entire career, and then uh, at the very end, Kevin Broberg found found the thing, and then the deck exploded. If you yeah, told me he, at the end of uh, unlocks the secrets. Three, if you told me at the end of set three. That, uh, that Nezu was just running the 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 tournament circuit. Yeah, th this is a. Uh, I would I would completely believe it. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I've uh, I've I've been a believe. The second this guy got revealed, I was like, I think it'll take ages to figure out. But this guy's probably really busted. <laughs> I know um, that uh, one of your one of your princes of Rochester CCG, Kevin Broberg very familiar name around these parts has been labbing this character a ton i think he actually won uh rochester's uh provisional store championship with this guy um, so there's already yeah yeah so there's already an interesting precedent out there uh he has put his list out there i've seen it it's very interesting uh, i have a, a local buddy who's really who's really really dedicated uh to playing nezu so i've been investigating that deck a lot i think it's it's got some very interesting things going on for it um, but again, it just goes to show you that if uh, if if someone as good as Kevin Roberg is so hot on this character, there's uh, there's got to be something going on here, right? Yeah, and and if there's a character to a or if there's a player to, to do it, I mean, Mike Hardiman uh, is a, a a UK champ. You can tell by his oh. mat. That's actually there's a little okay. Jasko logo in in the bottom corner. This this is Mike Hardiman, a two time a uh, uh, UK champion. Um, comes over to the, the U.S. sometimes uh, to play in, in Worlds and our Nationals. Um, I don't think he's uh, made a trip across the pond uh, for MHA, but, you know, this is a global uh, webcam event. And so, uh, I mean, we, we have we have a well-known name in the universe's uh, community uh, playing, you know, the principal, showing us all how it's done. Wow, yeah. Thank you for the for the history lesson, Tamron. I, I had no idea. For. I'm just so true. old. It's true. It's true, man. I'm great at talking, but when it comes to things I don't know about, pretty hard to talk about them True. definitely appreciate you putting 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 some knowledge on me and the viewers here you uh you old man you <laughs> <laughs> um kind of funny too you mentioned the principal right this is, this is something very funny about this matchup you you so aptly said right before we started is we've got uh we've got the smartest guy in the room on one side versus the the resident the resident class clown uh or the dumbest guy in the room if you want to be harsh towards poor kaminari here uh almost a a exact replication too of uh of of their of their in anime fight yeah i i'm i'm excited to uh i'm excited to see how uh how it turns out because like you know one's an aggro build one's a control build one 
takes the 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 hand that was given and she tries to play it twice and one sculpts their hand so exceptionally well um uh we'll just uh, we'll just have to see uh what uh becomes of of all of it uh beautiful giant ice wall block hitting a, a big breaker seeing if we can slow denki down uh normally blocking the first move is not what we want to do but with uh but with nezu being only at 20 health uh it's probably not exactly where we want to be yeah i um, think it's okay because i don't think we want to block this move um alternatively uh, again one of the strengths of nezu right is that enhanced to trade the card in your hand for any in your discard pile that matches the difficulty is it's once per turn but during both players turn so like if we have a four difficulty attack in our hand we can trade it out for maybe a potential ice storm if there's one in our discard pile somewhere true uh, yeah and just get to break her to him i don't know that's one of the strongest things i think about nezu is the ability to uh uh to just grab whatever block zone you need that that coupled with playing really strong chaos defense with things like release and struggling with studies is i think what makes this character such a tank um, and the ability is like hey if i ever feel threatened i get to just take a peek at your hand and see everything that's coming and then grab the corresponding block zone is just really really powerful i think the the defensive capability is probably what make that's what makes this character so strong in my in my head anyway yeah absolutely Ooh. uh beautiful recovery time coming in uh we got to release because it's probably gonna be the last time i get to get a chance to use it although i mean committing um committing down this struggling with studies Ooh. might be uh might be the play as well i mean being able to pick we up a mid block or a high block um is important yeah yeah i mean I, I think the release is probably the big one though with with plus two with two cards in our card pool only one after the struggling studies pick up uh we can definitely constitute another block but i don't think we're as worried about that um as we are just making sure that our moves uh that our moves after a third block can can land nonetheless because i mean if we commit to the struggling with studies the release staying up means we definitely block a third thing whereas now it's a little more dependent on the speed of the move uh, the jolt though gonna be really massive here to make sure our ones per game gets there nonetheless we don't we don't have any way to uh to 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 do a whole lot of oh my <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh let me have a peek. God. Hey, I want a once per game and see what's up. I'm gonna he, once per game. He and, showed him uh, a full house. It's three discrimin. Actually, for all you <laughs> poker, you poker aficionados out there, actually showed him a full house. Uh, yeah, did you guys know that Nezu's once per game very occasionally says, "Let's go to game two. <laughs> Oh, this is this I'm is this, this is extremely <laughs> extremely powerful. Uh, the jolt is gonna get there, nonetheless. Um, oh, the petty squabble coming in too, though. Says oh. discard two of those very cool attack cards is really crazy. Wow. Um, doesn't get to change the fact that we have rolling after rolling 1.3 million volts, That's uh, so funny. which funny. might just spell our death anyway. Oh. Um, but just showing off how 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 cool how cool of a, uh, of a of a heads up play that can be right i kind of questioned why the petty squabble was on was in here it seemed like okay tech but it is cool that we get to say let's look at your hand oh you've got you've got two attacks in your hand that kill me and those are your only cards go ahead and discard them for me buddy you can go ahead and get rid of them draw, draw two new ones find find find, find some better ones um, but now that once per game on denki is going to come in hot uh and even through a million three checks on top of our deck uh all of these 1.3s are going to come down we can we can zero gravity lift them in uh, we can pick up our meteor and zero grav lift it back in we have like five to six more attacks this turn yeah uh, if, this if is... like best case scenario the de the destines pop off um, unfortunately for for our dear principal here i think the uh the commonary high roll is uh is is just gonna spell the end of him what an insane hand that was he yeah. actually had seven attacks, man. Yeah, he had he actually... seven attacks. Yeah, and granted that was you know after a after a double jab block, so we did get to look at nine cards. But uh, seven uh, attacks, uh, seven attacks in nine cards is still a lot. <laughs> the thing I wanted to point out uh, with the double jab block, Nezu actually got to draw a card, and that was cool. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we did get yeah. a free card. Ooh, yeah. The plus ultra. Ooh. Oh, 
Nope. You said take 11. Yep. Yikes. Yep. Oh, we recovery time. Game four. Oh, yo, recover. Oh, that, yo, that's so cool. <laughs> and then we die. And then we super duper die. <laughs> wow. That's very unfortunate for, uh, for Nezu there. You can have all the information and all the knowledge in the world. Uh, but if your opponent draws stone cold iron hot gasoline man there's just uh there's not a whole lot of playing out of that one jordan's playing a different game he's playing poker <laughs> yeah yeah he's actually playing next level actually yeah. just playing next level um he, he just said it best denki did what denki does yeah yeah i don't uh i don't actually think that there's a thing that, that there's not a single deck that gets to gets to fight against that hand no, uh, no, I mean that kills mm -hmm. that kills every single person in the game. I think that kills two Nomus. <laughs> like, like uh, that was under an insane yeah. hand. Yeah, yeah, I feel so bad. I, I, I brought our dear principal on to be the star of the show, and then he said, "Actually, actually, my friend, spotlight's on me." Jen Jordan said, "I don't know how I feel about that. I think actually, I'm, I'm the MVP here. I, I'm the one everyone is going to be cheering for." For sure. Uh, For yeah. Sure. I just, man, it. I, I can't tell what was more entertaining. Just like slowly watching him play one point three after one point three, or just the hand reveal and just seeing them. Uh, that's man. I hope that got clipped somewhere along along the line. That's got to be one of one Ooh. of the funniest moments we've ever had on one of these streams. <laughs> yeah, that was a, uh, the definition of silly. That was. Yeah very very silly yeah yeah as as entertaining as it was though unfortunately it was at uh at nezu's expense here so we're gonna have to see if he can turn things around uh clinch clinch this one out and then bring it all the way to a game three scenario uh for the full victory thankfully he's got plenty of time because that game lasted four minutes yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got pretty ample time on his hands to, to try and play out the rest of this round uh and hopefully make these hopefully make these a little bit more of a of real games than they than, than than that one was yeah i'm uh i'm thinking that uh i mean i think that uh, just has to be more aggressive right i think you just gotta swing way harder um f even if it is to force Denki to block with those cards in our hand right um i don't think Denki uh opted to block a single move which means we kind of got to sculpt a, a little bit um we just want to swing we definitely got a very ample amount of uh, of sculpting there. Um, there's definitely a world where, like, like that's the cool thing about Nezu, right? Especially on the Chaos symbol, is you can play very aggressively because of cards like 1.3 million volts. The ability to say, I will look at your hand. Oh, you have no low blocks. Let me discard this five difficulty attack, grab a 1.3 from my discard pile, and then just jam it for a million. Um, like yeah. you, it, it, it means that since he can, since he can have, and obviously like you get that knowledge one time, but your rival, your, the rival of Nezu has to play with that knowledge in mind perpetually with the understanding that if you ever go into his turn without the, that right block, uh, he, he can find that out and then completely punish you for it. Um, so it has like a very perpetual, um, over, overwhelming and, uh, and ever present and omnipotent impact on the game as a whole and how you have to play around a character like nezu it's kind of like sarah right it's very similar stuff yeah yeah both have a uh, have really awesome once per games to uh cheat as much information as they can and then make the best decisions according to it right mm -hmm. um we say uh that that uh, one of my favorite things to say is uh this game is a a combination of chess and poker right chess is the the known information the cards that are on the board and then poker is the uh the information that's in the hand well nezu makes it that it's chess and chess <laughs> yeah, i get I to know, know if, it's uh, in your hand there's no guess i don't know, if, I don't no know if any anymore. of you have uh if any of you have ever played poker before but if you got if i got to look at my my rival's hand in poker i'd probably be a very very good poker player <laughs> <laughs> yeah. one, one of the best perhaps one of the best perhaps so hey but, we're so, see if, but uh, sometimes you look at their hand and they got they got pocket aces or they've got you know three indiscriminates and two meteor showers and you mm -hmm. still get to lose <laughs> yep yep sometimes sometimes man they show you quads and what yeah. can you do what, <laughs> what can you, you do, do? <laughs> what can you do but we'll have to see if nezu can uh can use that information to navigate his way towards a victory 
we've got our 1.3 in the discard pile. It, it is there on demand now to grab. So that's already a pretty a pretty cool spot to be in. We've got a lot of releases coming down. Um, only holding two cards in hand though. So you know, there's uh, we we got to be very careful about how we traverse through this turn. We've got a wealthy as we've got a wealthy aspirations on the board. We've got a requesting assistance. Um, we've got uh, a really, really cool tech here. I actually love this card at Denki and the successful results. Being able to pitch a, pitch a momentum to ready this foundation is really, really cool. When we once per game and just suddenly get three, four, five momentum at once, having those to just like discard across the turn, extend our reach when we have a, a small board space is uh, is really, really cool. That card is indiscriminate. It's also super, super good. When, if mm -hmm. it's committed to for a cost, it gets plus two more speed. So I, I have my opponent commit uh, a resource, and then I give my uh, indiscriminate plus two more speed. It's a five low for five starting out. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, oh, the, the the friend the friend of animals on Nezzy's yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, very, very, very cool card there. Yeah, between that, between the friend of animals and the shadow is eight on Nezu's board, and the successful results on uh, Denki's board, we're seeing a lot of really, really cool tech. Uh, I would say even the first impressions is a super interesting card here as well. Uh, definitely, definitely not one that sees a lot of play, uh, but I think has a lot of potency and uh, being able to manipulate the way your opponent blocks you in a character like Denki is very strong. Agreed, agreed for sure. <laughs> Looks like we're just not finding the attacks though. Going into another healthy build turn uh, for Nezu, seeing some really strong defensive pieces though. Um, the Irrefutable going to be able to turn off some of our rival's foundations in a pinch. Uh, the Villains defeated another really, really, really big move. Um, a super good card against Denki. I have to imagine if we weren't maining those, we sided them in or sided in more copies. Um, definitely one of the most heads-up plays you can have against him. Uh, on top of that, we've got uh, we've got a lot of we got a lot of releasing on board as well. Uh, having two of these is going to be able to to show off a lot more blocking power. Um, as as Denki is committing us through our turn. Yeah, I uh, I agree. Committing those two cards is saying a lot. Yeah, committing um, release is scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, committing release is very 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 scary. So it looks like they're the responded with one of those basic trainings to to, to make, make it a seven damage move. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. So that it gets over the half block range. Yeah, Although, I definitely. Would I mean, first impressions came in, so you get the plus three to to push it up to nine. So that That's means true. you can respond with both of them, right? You could do both and then give it make you it could. eleven. If you blocked, could. take six. Rough. But it's possible that we're it's possible that we're waiting uh, to put that damage on a move that we think can't be blocked at all. Fair. I mean, if our next move gets plus three speed, there there there's a few that are going to be pretty tough to stop. My uh, my opponent was super down to block a uh, a double jab pummel. If there's like a move that like isn't supposed to be blocked, I mean that's it, right? <laughs> yeah, I I am in full agreement there. Um, so this is gonna be pretty scary, you know. We get to we get to still deal the the five half damage through this. We get to commit one of our rivals' best foundations. Um, Breaker one is beautiful here. Um, how do you feel about the irrefutable co commit here over anything else on Nezu's board? Um, I personally am not a fan. They're actually, I mean, it, I'm it, I'm committing the villains defeated there all day. It's either that or the uh, one of the releases, right? Yeah. Oh, we don't even care about villains defeated. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. This makes a lot more sense now as to why we didn't do our basic trainings and as to why we didn't commit the villains defeated because we're getting it anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's that is a very good heads up play. Yeah, we're uh, still though, man. With two, man, with two, with two going into our momentum, we could have postured an insane amount of attacks. Um, even even still though, I feel like. After we jam our next move, and and if we can get the once per game off of it, we're going to be in a position where we can play as many attacks a as we have in our hand. Yeah. Uh, the big issue is, and, and I've seen it in Nezu's hand because, uh, you know, on webcam, sometimes the, uh, sometimes we get a, a Nezu once per game. Uh, there <laughs> is a cheerful uppercut right so we could block with the uppercut slam a couple cards into uh, the card pool um and then if we could block that next move right so here comes the uppercut we yeah can this full is block super the next move. 
This the is turn's super over. scary though. If the next move is if the next move is a jolt or like heck another grav lift, one that we cannot stop from dealing any amount of damage to once per game, we're just gonna give Denki a free momentum. The other thing is, is I mean, we could just pop the once per game here, right? Um, this would give we us could. three yeah. momentum, including the uh, the wealthy aspirations. Use the code and um, the grab. Use the, oh, but it's the jolt anyway. And even if we check bad oof. here, we lose our wealthy, which is very actually. I mean, not re well. We lose it right now, but we can also we can also we can commit the wealthy right once per game, requesting the wealthy back up. And then grav lift our next move in, and then respond with the wealthy. So we can still That's get our, our momentum usage here. Uh, these are the the shenanigans of uh, of a lot of these air and chaos foundation bases. Man, they let they let you do some real crazy things on a real small number of resources. If we have a meteor shower in hand after this once per game, that's going to be massive. We're going to have so many momentum, and we have at least one in our discard pile. Uh, between the grav lift, that's like three more attacks. Uh, yeah, meteor shower is absolutely massive if it comes down here. Uh, let's see what our what our follow up is. We just don't really we just really don't want to check a three on this one. If we do though, I think we just commit Dinky, right? Yeah. Oh, who cares? But we, we don't even four. need to. I mean, finally, right? F finally. Yeah. Um, and now, okay. yeah, now we get to we get to electric jolt. Um, I have to imagine one of the releases, and then if it's blocked, we get to put the other release down, and then we just get to play like so many meteors. We can discard momentum and ready our successful results. Uh, we get to look at the hand. Oh, Meteor and a Home Run Comet's massive. Uh, in actuality, this is like Meteor Meteor Home Run Comet. Yeah, and one of these gets to leave to Momentum. Mm, uh, with this one is card in hand. So swing, swing, we, swing, swing. We have if to we just pass take... all these checks. It's game over. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, we just have to roll ne Nezu's, our cards. Yeah, Nezu's got one more block, right? With the. Yeah. I mean, I get we uh, we do have a petty squabble. squabble. Yeah. Yeah. But man, um, do we petty I, squabble right now? I think you petty squabble whenever they pick the shower up. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're just gonna. You're just, well, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, we we squabble on the next meteor, right? Yeah. Um, so actually, do we just jolt the squabble? I think we jolt the squabble. I think that's actually the most correct thing. Don't even worry about the releases. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, we did not. We did not. Yeah. I mean, it, all all this says is it gives a it gives Nezu a chance, right? And even then, like, it does. like the chance is so low. Um, yeah, things are still very scary. So that's gonna float because of the grav lift. The wealthy's gonna bring a new one in. I'm not positive we necessarily needed that. That felt like a little overkill, actually. We, I actually I think mean, I would have removed my wealthy to double jolt, maybe. It's it's a that's a call, but I mean, if we check bad at all, right? Uh, yeah. If we'd removed the well, the, to, I, I the think, jolt, we'd have I no think ready the formation. I think that one is okay because with their moment, the momentum is successful results readies, right? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that was that, a card. yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. We have Ooh. as many momentum to ready all these successful results. We are playing as many attacks as we can we can find in our hand. That that is what's happening this turn. Uh, wow, so that, that is not that, worth per turn, huh? Nope, it sure isn't. Huh. And considering we don't have the cards in hand, I mean, that's what's scary, right? Is like, now, even if we... Because of the grav lift now, even if we squabble at some point here, even if we, pet, we petty squabble here, right? Like, whatever cards we draw, we're picking up at least one more meteor. And, and then it's kind of just like kind of just in it's kind of in, in rng's hands at that point afterwards uh, but dinky has a lot of power to uh to bend fate here yeah well uh i, I think i think i think there's a, a way to get out of this i just think it depends on on what the puzzle is right yep it do, it's it's gonna be a very reactive scenario so i think from here you instantly squabble oh instant squabble instant squabble you have to you have to yeah he's asking how many cards in hand now yep so we can we can squabble here. He's gonna get. So the thing is, right, is we can squabble, we can squabble, but then we can trade that face down momentum for the meteor. So we we still have two more meteors after this. Uh, it looks like we opted not to squabble. Huh. Hmm. We have to have a breaker block in order to survive this. I think. 
Ah, uh, yeah, you might be. You might be right. Because even if we check a three as Danky, check a three, commit the two foundations, and then Danky himself, and just swing for the the fences. Oh, that works. Yep. Looks good. Mm hmm. Commit squabble. Yeah, you have to, right? No, there's no sense in committing release because uh, there's no cards in hand. But Four, with something like five, the squabble, six, he can... seven. It's. Oh. Oh there it my is. goodness. Six, seven. As we roll them a hot. I mean, this turn Massive. started with a bunch of threes. But, you know, when you take an extra turn, right? When you take a second yeah. turn, being Dinky Kaminari, um, you know, you roll fives for your free turn. Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, yeah, that was an, that was honestly, like, as much as Nezu didn't really get to aggress there at all, that was a very cool showcase by both decks showing the, the defensive power, right? Um, the defensive power, and I think there's there's a world where if Dinky did not play around everything going on on Nezu's board as well as he did, he definitely fell prey to to failing failing that kill turn somehow. That that was not nothing. Nothing was guaranteed that turn. It wasn't like last game where uh, where where the chips fell where they may. Uh, it right. was a really good aggressive and defensive showcase uh, by both players doing what their characters do best. Yeah, I uh, I completely agree. I think both players played the game uh, to the best of their ability. Um, we were just able to squeak it out as a uh, as uh, as Denki. Um, we are going to take a small break as we have about thirty minutes left in this round. Let's go see if we can find uh, another game for you guys. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more of the My Hero Academia collectible card game. 